Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So let us discuss a problem that appeared in Lead Code Weekly Contest 291. It's total appeal of a string. So it's a hard problem, but it's not that hard. It was easy. And I was able to solve a hard problem in uh, the contest. So let's see what the problem is. The appeal of a string is number of distinct characters found in the string. Okay, so number of distinct characters, something related. Okay, fine. So we need to return total appeal of all its substrings. So we're given a string. We need to find the total sum of appeal of all the substrings. So appeal of a string is number of distinct characters. So I can say the problem is sum of count of distinct characters sum of count of distinct characters in all substrings so basically this is the problem one thing to note over here is we have to consider all the substrings so keep that in mind okay and distinct characters so see the brute force approach is uh, you know, brute force approach is the O of n square approach, wherein we will find all the subarrays and we will find all the distinct characters. How can we find distinct character? We can take unordered set or we can take map, whatever. We'll find all the distinct characters in all subarrays and we'll find the sum. Correct. But that will not work. Why? Because the constraint is 10 power 5. So n square solution won't work. So let us take an example and understand. Suppose the string is a, b, b, c, a. Okay. Now I'll write all its substrings. A, a, b, a, b, b, a, b, b, c, a, b, b, c, a. Then b, 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 c, b, b, c, a. Then now see, I'm starting from here. B, B, C, B, C, A. Then C, C, A. Then A. Totally, how many substrings? If the length of the string is n, we will have n into n plus 1 by 2 substrings. So these are total number of substrings. Okay. Now what they're saying? In each of these substrings, find the count of distinct characters and sum all those values. But let us see a different approach, how to solve this problem differently. So the concept is we have to find the contribution of each character. See, we know one thing for sure that all the characters are lowercase English alphabets. Okay, so how many alphabets are there? 26. So from A to Z. So all the characters will be within these only. Now, if we find the individual contribution of each and every character in all the substrings and add them, that will be our answer. Because when they say count of distinct characters, we have to include all the characters in that substring, right? See, for example, this one only A, B, B, C, A. We have to include A. We have to include B and we have to include uh, C, right? So if we find the individual contribution of every character in all the substrings and cumulatively add that, that will give the sum of count of distinct characters in all the substrings. Now, how to find the uh, contribution of each character? Again, there are two ways. So what approach I used is, so approach I used is, let us say we want to find out how many substrings are there, which have at least one A. I want to find how many substrings are there, which have at least one A. Why am I doing that? Because I know that 
in all those substrings, I have to add one for the distinct character count. I'll repeat that. In all the substrings that have at least one A, I have to add the distinct character count as one. See, consider three different strings, AB, ABB, and BBCA, right? So there are three substrings. So in all these substrings, we have A. And we consider the other substring A, B, B, C, A. We have two A's, but essentially we consider only one A. So what I'm trying to say is, if we find out how many uh, substrings have at least one A, that is equal to finding out how many uh, A's are there in the substrings. And that is equal to distinct character count for the alphabet A. Like that, if we do for all the alphabets, if we do for all the, that is, if we find out how many substrings have at least one A, at least one B, at least one C, so on till at least one Z, that will be equal to sum of count of distinct characters in all the substrings. So how do we find out the number of substrings which have at least one A? So we know that the total number of substrings is this. So total number of substrings, so total substrings minus the number of substrings without a. So this is the same as number of substrings with at least one A. So like this, instead of A, I'll put B, I'll put C. So I'm thinking of a O of N into 26. Why N into 26? There are 26 alphabets and each alphabet, I have to find out how many uh, substrings are there, which have at least one character as that alphabet. See, you do one thing, among all these substrings, you find a count of distinct characters and sum it. It will come out to be 28. Okay, you do that. What I'm showing you now is, okay, so I'm saying at least one A. So how many substrings have at least one A? If you do the calculation, it will come out to be nine. How many substrings have at least one B? 11. How many substrings have at least one C? Eight. Sum of all this is 28. So instead of solving the problem like this, we are solving the problem with uh, respect to the individual contribution of each and every character. Sorry, each and every alphabet, you can say. So pause the video and try to think by yourself what I'm trying to say. Right? Because distinct character in all substrings will have count of every character greater than or equal to one. No, it will be count will be one, but the number of characters may be greater than or equal to one. Like in this case here, A, B, B, C, A, there are two A's, but count of distinct character of A is one. So contribution of the alphabet A is one in this string. And similarly, contribution of character A in this string also is one. So if a string has at least one A, then it will contribute to the answer. Like that, if a string has at least one B, it will contribute to all those substrings which have a count of B greater than or equal to one. But because we're considering distinct, it will become one only. 
so you can rewind the video where i spoke about that part and pause and think over there what i'm exactly saying so i know it little hard it's not very intuitive to understand but i don't know how easy i'm making it for you guys so so let us see for uh, the alphabet c also among all the substrings which contain the alphabet c if we want to find the distinct count of character c only c consider only c if you want to find distinct count of c we'll consider c only once if it appears if the character c appears in any substring how many ever times it appears we consider once only which is the same as saying that substring has at least one c so counting the number of substrings which have at least one alphabet is the same as the that alphabet contributing to the sum of count of distinct characters in the substring so i don't know how clear i was but let me just show you see for every character we are going to find the total count of all substrings which have at least one letter or at least one uh, character as this alphabet so for all i should say for all alphabets from a to z we are going to find out count of substrings which have at least one character as this alphabet and how we are doing that we are doing total number of substrings minus the substrings which do not have this alphabet at all so if i want to find for a okay if i want to find the number of substrings which have at least one a it will be total number of substrings 15 minus number of substrings which do not have a which are those b b b b b c c b b c so six there are six substrings which do not have the alphabet a so 15 minus 6 9 9 is the number of substrings which have at least one a and 9 is the count of the number of times we are going to consider a for our answer for our answer distinct character in all substrings so how so when you actually find the distinct character count you will count a nine times only see in this how many times it is there two but distinct count is one here also distinct count is one distinct count is one 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 and here one so already see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 distinct count of a is 9 distinct count of a is 9 which is same as number of substrings with at least one a so like this for all the characters we do the same procedure as you can see it was already accepted right so pause the video and try to think by yourself that's all i can say so the pretty nice problem and uh, i think i have solved some more problems on this kind of a concept contribution of each element or each character i think in lead code only there is a problem like count of sum of odd length subarrays or something like that some subarray kind of problem if i find the lead code post anywhere usually whenever there are multiple problems on a concept somebody on lead code in the discuss section will make a post saying these all problems can be solved based on this concept so those posts are very nice so i'll make i'll uh, research about that and put it in uh, my channel so i hope you understood please share the video with all your friends subscribe to the channel if you didn't understand sorry don't abuse me uh, i don't know how else to explain 
I am getting little better. I feel in my way of explaining. If you see my previous videos and now I think there is a difference. So please share the channel with all your friends. Subscribe and until the next video, take care, stay safe, keep learning, keep growing, stay tuned. Bye.